Welcome back to your CZ and the celebration of King Sport Centennial, and we're joined now by Mr. King Sport himself. That, <laughs> did you know you had that title? No. In I, addition to being our city manager, yeah. Jeff Fleming is now known as Mr. King Sport. I do recall that before you were city manager, we loved having you on the show because you always brought good news. Oh, and it was yeah. wonderful. And so now that you're city manager, you get to continue doing exactly, that. Exactly. Because here we're celebrating the city's 100th birthday. It's just an amazing milestone. And although I know you know our history really well, well, for our audience out there, they may not be as familiar with how Kingsport got its start. So could right. you give us that? So Kingsport's really a tale of two cities. One, it was incorporated in 1822. After the Civil War, uh, it lost its charter, and it wasn't until almost 100 years later, in 1917, when a group of industrialists came in and wanted to build a city from scratch, they just rechartered and kept that name. Okay. And the original Kingsport on the river was not in the city limits of New Kingsport until the 1960s. Wow. So uh, it's, it's really... Uh, it really is a tale of two cities. That's neat, yeah. King Sports have a, a century of excellence. You know, we're here today in large part because of the community right. spirit of Kingsport right. that J. Fred Johnson talked about many years right. ago. And this event is a celebration of that. So talk about the King Sports spirit, what it means to you, Jeff, what it means to this community. Well, the King Sports spirit is just a willingness to be helpful and a culture of giving, a spirit of generosity. And, uh, you know, my family on both sides was from this area, but there were people that came from all across the United States all around the world and so it really exposed us to new ideas uh, educational yeah. opportunities that we wouldn't have had mm -hmm. and it just it yeah. literally changed uh, our economic future and, and, and I'm not the only one it, 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 it uh, had a lot of folks that had the same experience yeah. growing up. and as we started uh, before we got got on camera though you'd mentioned that this was like a kid at Christmas yeah. when you when you woke right. up this morning right. so talk to us a little bit about what the celebration so, means to you so this is my 32nd year uh, working for the city of King Sport. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And so in the in the 1980s, we always circled 2017 like it was a big number that if we got to that horizon of our planning, then we will have arrived. Yeah. And so I kind of woke up this morning and thinking, you know, this is what I've spent a career working toward. And where are we today? And I, and I think back to, you know, what it was like in the 1980s uh, when I first came to work, the 100 block of East and West Main Street, the windows were knocked out, the train station had pigeons flying in and out. It was uninhabited. Um, it was a, you know, it was a time when we were either going to turn and go a positive direction or we were going to go the other direction. And, and I'm just so pleased with what we see today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think there's still a question about whether it was inhabited whenever you guys were there. Well, that's too. true. Yeah, <laughs> pigeons coming in and out. Yeah. So, yeah. Jeff, I remember Kingsport tomorrow when it formed. Yep. Their, fo their phone number was 246 2017 because right. of Kingsport. Exactly. And wow, here we are today. So there's, let's, there have been so many people yeah. for so long who have contributed. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the way I see it is we all carry the baton for yeah. that leg of the race. Sure. Um, we inherited an awesome legacy from the people who came before us, and hopefully we're leaving an awesome yeah. legacy for those who come behind us. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Absolutely. Speaking of that legacy, Jeff, give us your thoughts on King Sports next 100 years. That we, we've got a great present, a lot happening in Kingsport right. right now. How's the future well, look? I call it remodeling the model city. Yeah. And uh, I think that Kingsport has great bones. It's the right size. It's very appealing to all age groups, mm -hmm. from millennials to seniors to young families. I think we're seeing a resurgence, resurgence yeah. in housing. We're seeing reinvestment in our traditional neighborhoods. And it's just exciting to see newcomers who are coming in responding to the same things that you know we did or our parents did when they came here yeah. and seeing the potential and the yeah. possibilities. We had a young couple that came in the other day that was talking about the river and how they loved Whitewater and yeah. how they went to Virginia Tech and how they wanted to live in a community that had access to a, a river that flowed uh, with Whitewater. And, uh, and they, they picked Kingsport. Well, I've driven by that river almost every day and never paid much attention. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I think that's that right. happens to yeah. all of us. It yeah. kind of blends in the background. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to be appreciative yeah. of what we have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, when we were making plans for this show, the first guest we knew we had to book was Mr. Kingsport himself. We had to have our outstanding city manager on yes. the show. And our future is very bright because of your great leadership, Mayor Clark, the BMA, and this yeah. great community spirit. Thanks so, a village. Jeff Fleming, Literally. thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. We're so excited. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.